Teeny Gamer here, and well, I just finished Ching Yi. Yes, it took me way shorter time to get Ching Yi fully uh, built than it is to get uh, Shui Yun fully built, which is very, very sad. But still, I got Ching Yi um, fully built, so now it's time to showcase her off. And um, I am going to be jumping the gun here. Um, and saying the title of the video, yes, she literally is the best character in the game. I'm, I'm not joking. I'm not lying. She literally is the best character in the game. And, of course, this showcase will basically show why she's the best character in the game. Um, well, uh, without any further ado, um, let's just get the Ching-Yi showcase started um, by showing my build first. Alright, so here is my Ching-Yi build. So, my Ching-Yi is just built like any other stun character in the game. You just give them, of course... For slot 4, crit rate, crit damage. For slot 5, you give them their elemental damage bonus. For slot 6, impact percent. That's literally how every single stun character is built in this game. So, Ching Yi is no exception. I gave her impact percent, of course. I gave her electric damage. And then I gave her crit rate, crit damage. Uh, mainly the 1 to 2 ratio. But since I am still trying to kind of optimize her set, um, this is still comfortable enough. As long as it is close enough to the 1 to 2 ratio, she should perform fine. So, yeah. And even with this, she still performed fine in Shiyu defense anyway. So, yeah. This is literally the build I used to beat the 7th Frontier of the Critical Node. Um, keep that in mind. As for the skills right here, I gave her, again, level 4 core, level 6 skills. So, um, the reason why I underleveled these, by the way, if you want to know what the minimal built um, character is in this game, it is level 5 core level 7 skills. Um, keep that in mind. So the reason why I wanted to just uh, under level her is because, well, she doesn't really need that much. Because again, I beat this uh, with this Chingy build specifically at level 6 skills and level 4 core to beat Shiyu Defense Critical Node on S rank. Yeah, that could probably give you insight on how broken she is. So yeah, um, I under leveled her because I don't really need to uh, minimally build her. But I am still, again, trying to get her to, uh, again, uh, just maxing her out in general because she's just way too good. Um, as well as getting her to level 60, of course. But again, Denny's and Stamina is just way too uh, costly in this game. So that's going probably going to be taking a while. So yeah. And as for equipment, of course, I gave her... 4-piece Shockstar Disco. It is the main bread and butter for all of these stun characters. As for 2-piece set, you can go whatever you want. You can go crit rate. You can go attack percent. You can go energy regen. Um, as for me, I went with Swing Jazz 2-piece because her special EX is just way too free to get. Um, if you are playing Ching Yi normally, which is basically spamming her third attack and then doing the charge attack, she gets... Uh, her special EX really, really, really easily, and getting energy regen on her just gets her e our EX special way too early. So yeah, it's just really, really good. And of course, for W Engine, I went with the Teapot, which is her best um, W Engine. It's not maxed out, of course. This is literally halfway done, but it still gets the job done, really. Um, she literally becomes a support, by the way, if you do give her this uh, W engine. She literally gives 20% damage to all party members, as long as you have 15 stacks of the teapot uh, W engine buff. So yeah, really, really busted. If you want to know how busted she is, well, uh, wait no longer, because now we are going to be going to Hollow Zero and showcasing her in action. And that is a perfect segue to transition to Hollow Zero. So here we are at Hollow Zero. Of course, I'm going to be going Withering Garden. It is the hardest Hollow Zero here. So might as well go for that. And of course, I am going to be going with this. Yep, um, this is the team we're going to be going for. But since this is a Ching Yi showcase, I'm sorry, Ellen. You're going to have to be off leader position because now Ching Yi is going to be here to uh, take over. So uh, the Bang Boo doesn't really matter that much. Um, we can go Shark Boo because why not? Or Rizona Boo. It really depends on what DPS we get first. Um, I hope that it is Ellen. Because Ellen is just way too busted. But, um, well, I'm gonna be sticking with, uh, Ching Yi, uh, for leader, of course, because it is his, the, uh, Ching Yi showcase. So without any further ado, let's just, uh, get on with the, uh, showcase right here. 
So, um, of course, this is just Hollow Zero, so I am just going to be uh, going through the floors as normal as what you do when you do play Hollow Zero. Um, and since this is um, a Chingy Showcase, I'm probably going to go for the, sta the Stun Damage Multiplier um, Rizonia, um, which is uh, mainly what I want to go for. This is a really good Rizonia, so I'm just going to pick this. Um, shock, energy, critical. So these are kind of bad, really. We are, I guess we could just go for critical. Why not? Um, we're going to be going for landing a critical hit. Increases attack by 15%. That one's a really good Rizonia. So now we can choose which permanent effect we can get here. We're going to be going for the least uh, worrying one, I guess, which is pressure because we don't want that. And then we're going to be going for um, all boxes are expensive because we're probably never going to be spending for uh, coins anyway. So yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm probably going to go for this because we need... Um, we do need evidence for specific uh, commissions. So there's one evidence card. Really nice. I will take that. And let's see who our first uh, caller is right here. So Kaku, that is a really, really good support. Um, I will I will put her in the second position, of course. Right there. Okay. Um, we are basically close to a kind of a battle, I guess. Um, we can't just go here. Um, enter combat. I'm probably just gonna feel cracks. We get a bunch of stuff. Uh 40% chance. Why not? Let's just do that. Uh nope, we didn't get anything, so let's just leave. Um, it's not really worth risking for anyway. Alright. Uh, we don't have enough uh, currency for shop anyway. Uh, which is sad, really. We're gonna be going down. Uh, crit damage, crit damage. This uh, Magnet Boo is better. Uh, so I'll just pick Magnet Boo. Because he's able to gather enemies. So yeah. Alright, this should be the first battle that we're going to be going towards. So we don't have an uh, attack character in our arsenal. So Ching Yi doesn't get the uh, synergy bonus yet, which does suck for us. So uh, yeah, we're going to be playing on a handicap here. So we don't get attack boost, but we can trigger a lot of stun with this team. So uh, let's just get on with it. Okay, here we go. Alright, so we're going to be doing Ching-Yi things and Ching-Yi, um, Ching-Yi shenanigans. So, of course, we're going to be taking advantage of the perfect dodge right there. He, she has one of the quickest perfect dodges in the game. And, of course, we're going to be doing her charge attack, obviously. Are you doing Sokaku? Put the banner up. Alright. That should... Oh, that was a really bad dodge. Okay, this should, uh, get us to another one. Let's do Shark Boo instead. Alright. That should be good enough. And then that should be good to go. We just smack the other guy and we should be fine. There we go. Yeah, so as you see there, Ching Yi is just way too busted. Basically, your main bread and butter is to do the uh, three basics and then you mash. Yes, you have to mash. You can't hold. Um, because if you hold the attack button, you basically um, do like... Uh, a charge attack and you consume all the stacks um, as long as the of course your um, Your stacks are full basically the bar on the top left if it's yellow You're able to do a charge attack if it's not then you just do a normal charge attack But yeah, you want to mash on third attack so you can build up that meter once that meter is full You can do a charge attack which does massive stun damage. You'll see what I mean here All right, so now we're forced to do chain attacks, which is pretty easy we can just do this and then we do that see i see there um if you looked at the uh, top left corner the meter is full so yeah but this should be pretty easy to uh get because these are free chain attacks yeah there we go and then do another chain attack of course yeah uh for ching yi it's just basic it's really free to get uh chain attacks in this game all right. Now we do another chain attack. Uh, we only have a minute. Yeah, we have a minute left, but we should be fine right here. This is not. This is not a really bad. Um, this is not really a bad 
uh, time limit challenge, really. Alright, we should be finished here, actually. I think this should be it right there. This should be the last chain attack. Yep, there we go. We get a free buff now, um, thanks to that. Yeah, as you see there, Ching Yi is really good at crowd control too. I forgot to mention that. She is one of the best crowd controllers in the game because of her third basic. It's just way too busted. Alright, so um, we're probably going to... Uh, well, we can't do Catalyze because we don't have that much Rizonia to work with. So we're going to be attaining the 1,000 gear coins. Alright, that should give us enough to... Uh, well, never mind. This is a um, danger uh, shopkeeper. So... It's best to just avoid that. And now we're going to go on to the first boss of um, Weathering Garden, which is, I think, the Thanatos boss and then the uh, large uh, ethereal enemy. So, yeah. Oh, never mind. Well, we do get Thanatos, but we also get the uh, sword and shield guy right here. So, again, we're going to be seeing Chingy pop off. We do have the uh, meter max out, so you can't just do an enhanced um, burst attack. But yeah, as you see there, look at that damage. Way too busted. We're going to be going Sokaku. Um, since she does have the highest attack, we are going to be going for um, her Fly the Banner shenaniganery. So we're going to be doing three Vortex stacks. And then now we can switch to Xingyi. Alright, we do a charge attack. Yeah, but um, with the energy regen, by the way, you're able to get uh, stuff like that out really, really fast. So, yeah, it's really, really good if you ha do have um, energy regen. Alright. That should be good enough. Okay, now we do this. Yeah, look at how much damage she does. If you give her crit rate, all of those can become crits, by the way, if you do give her crit rate. Alright. That should be good enough. Let's do a burst. There we go. Yeah, that does massive stun damage, by the way. Alright, this should stun him here. That should give us Sokaku. Yeah, this is just constant chain attacks. I'm pretty sure if we keep this up long enough, we should get the S rank clear. And that should finish him off right there. Sokaku finisher. Yep, there we go. So yeah, even with two... Agents on the team, they, they still perform really well. Yeah, Chingy, Chingy broken. That's all I'm gonna say. Chingy, Chingy's broken. <laughs> um, they should give us the S rank clear though. Yeah, there it is. The S rank clear. All right. Okay, so we got two shielders. We're going for chain attack, of course. Um, that should give us more. The shield is not really that useful. Especially in a showcase setting like this. It's good against, um, if you are gonna be trying to go for, uh, corruption level 11, uh, of course, but, um, I'm not going for that, so yeah. Um, as for this, um, we can just go for the, I guess we could go for the one Rizonia. EX special inflicts 10 more days, that's pretty nice. We're gonna be going for the gear coin thing. Alright, we got lucky there and we didn't lose any gear coins. Pretty nice. Alright, let's see who we get a call from. Ellen! Yes, now we basically got our best team in the game right now. Right there. At your service. Okay, um, we're gonna be uh, splitting off the HP, of course. To even out the HP because we, there is a healing spot here. So, yeah. Alright, we're gonna be depositing because I did just... Uh, withdraw a lot of stuff so might as well just deposit all the gear coins right now because the max amount of um shop you can get the shop points is 2000 um just keep that in mind all right we're gonna be uh taking this uh reduced pressure because yeah as you see there we're gonna take a lot of uh pressure anyway all right, each movement causes 100% reduced pressure. That's really good. Stun duration. We're going to be picking stun duration. All right. And now let's just collect all of these here. And we should be good to go. There we go. All right. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure... This will just do lose uh, HP. Yeah, nope. I am not taking that. I don't really need it anyway. So, yeah. Continue the operation and complete Withering Garden Core. 
All right. We're going to be taking the phone call, of course, because we do get free um we do get free rewards. So, we're going to be doing the uh I guess we could just take a general. Zonia? 50% more damage. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Um let's go to here. We might get ourselves uh S rank uh Rizonia. So, let's just get that. Yeah, that's free. Nice. Okay, crit damage, um, crit damage bonus. That is really, really good. And this should give us, um, this should give us another Rizonia if we do beat this. And there is a boss up ahead, and we can use that to get the cleanse. So, um, if, even if we do get a corruption, um, we can just get rid of it immediately. Okay, time to showcase another... Um, Ching Yi Massacre. So, um, of course, I'm I'm just gonna get Ellen stacks, and then now it's time to do this. Yeah, uh, tell me, tell me that that's not busted, because uh, she literally just crowd controls everyone for free. Yeah, we're gonna be doing it again, of course. There we go, and then to Ellen. Yeah, look at that. Look at how busted that is. Tell, don't tell me that's not busted. Lycon has to do charge attacks in order to do that, right? Shingy can do it AoE. Yeah. Um, there's really not, mu not much to be said right there. Um, inflict days. Yes, sir. We need that. Let's see what this gives us. Ice damage increase. Yes, I will take that. It basically helps Ellen. Alright. Traps become more deadly. Um... Not really a concern for us. There we go. Okay, launching EX. Take 10 less damage. We're going to be taking this. Oh, looks like another evidence here. Alright. Uh, yes. I will take it because we do need to, um, take the evidence anyway. So, yeah. Alright. I think that should be it, though. Yeah. Okay. Let's just move onwards. Okay. The traps become more deadly one isn't that bad. The only one, um, merchants cost HP instead of gear coins. That's not really that bad either. I think it's also a new corruption too. I never gotten that corruption before. All right. Um, I'm probably just gonna keep the um, the HP for uh, Bang Boo Shop, um, because again, um, traps are probably more, um, more deadlier than um, just having that instead. So, yeah. Okay. We're gonna be doing the same thing again. We're gonna be getting her stacks in and then do Xing Yi crowd control. There we go. Do Ellen. And yeah, you, you, you can see the point why she's pretty good at crowd controlling. Um, she's literally the best in Shiyu defense. Literally. She's literally made for that mode. Like, she's actually that good. Alright. Do charge. Look at that. Look at that. And we're about to get the stun off too. Alright. Uh, let's just get our three uh, vortex stacks in. That should be all of it. So now we just trigger the chain. There we go. Um, Ellen should finish her off even with the stun meter up. Yep, there it is. Let's do a dodge. We do have enough energy for that specific attack. And now we do the charge attack. That should stun him right there. Alright. We do another three vortex stacks and two Ellen. And Ellen will pop off and finish him off right there. Yep. Yeah, Ching Yi. Again, remember that she has the teapot W engine, so she does give um party members 20% damage bonus. So that is a three vortex boosted teapot damage bonus uh attack right there. Yeah, you can see why she's pretty busted. Um, we're going for this because it increases the decibel rate. Alright. Um, triggering perfect dodge is days. Yes, I will take that, of course. There we go. Stun damage multiplier. Uh, of course, I'm taking that as well. And then energy, non-crit, crit damage from behind. We're going to be going for energy rate. And that should be it. All right, let's continue onwards and forwards. So, um, we don't have a corruption that, um, like, 
hinders us in combat. Specifically, the uh, dodge has a longer cooldown one. That one is one of the worst corruptions you could ever get in Hollow Zero. So, yeah. Um, thankfully, we don't have that yet, which is a good thing. Oh, I got interrupted there. That's not good. All right, I perfect, I perfect, uh, I perfect assisted that, which is pretty nice. There we go. I think this should give us enough right here. Yeah, now we can do the charge. Um, by the way, uh, when she does the charge attack, she automatically dodges attacks, which is uh pretty busted, really. Okay. That's okay. Now we can go for the vortex stacks because now he is stunned. All right, we do Chingy into Sokaku, so we're immediately able to switch to um, Ellen right here, and then do another Sokaku because why not? And then do burst. I think this should do like a bajillion damage right there. Yeah, ooh, that's really good. And now we can probably finish him off here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> really, really, really good. Um, as you see there. Uh, Chingy is the one of the best stunners in the game. As well as this team. This team is really, really busted. Literally replace Lycon with uh, Chingy. And then Chingy just pops off, really. It's, it's so good. Alright. Um, let's see what we get here. Assist damage follow-up. Uh, we're gonna be doing crit damage, sure. Because critical is just a lot. It's just way too good. Uh, team um, as like this. Alright, let's see what these guys want. Um, remove two corruption effects? Sure, why not? Um, I can remove these two and we basically become a clean slate. Uh, lose 16 HP. We're gonna be doing this because they do allow us to do that once. Which is really, really good. Alright. Of course, we're going to be sharing HP. Um, we could just heal ourselves here thanks to the rest area on the right side. Alright, now we're gonna be depositing gear coins, of course. Again, we're not spending a lot of gear coins, so this is pretty good. Alright, we since we reached 1,500, we're able to get a Rezonium for free. Pretty, pretty cool. Alright, now we leave. Okay, I'm gonna be uh, donating 15% HP to just change what we can get. Um, we're gonna be changing it to freeze, obviously. We need that. There we go. Um, because uh, uh, we are using a freeze-related team, so getting freeze Rezonia is the uh, way to go. So, um, shock, critical, general. We're gonna pick general right here, because general just boosts everyone. So it's really, really good. All right. Let's see what we get here. Nothing, really. Okay. Um, I was expecting a Ellen event, but I guess we didn't get that. But um, the Ellen event literally gives her her Mindscape 1, which is pretty, pretty good. Uh, same with Chingy. I would want Chingy's event, but uh, looks like we aren't getting that, really. Alright, let's heal ourselves. And let's get on to the third floor. This is the last floor in the game. Okay, we're gonna be going down. And we're gonna be uh, getting another Rezonium. Um, General, again. General just boosts everyone, so it's really, really good. Alright, we're going to be looking for Concentrated Medicine. Nice, we get 10 HP back, which is pretty cool. Alright, now we're dropping into another battle, um, which means free Rezonia, of course. Um, basically, for Hollow Zero, you want to get as much Rezonia as you can. It's also beneficial to do this, by the way, because um, in the Inferno um, fight against the, um, against the uh, Queen, you basically want to get uh, a lot of Rezonia that benefits your characters, so you're able to nuke the boss as much as you can. So yeah. Alright, let's do a charge attack. That should get us to do Ellen shenaniganery. There we go. And now we do the same thing again. Yeah, but as you see there, look at how good Chingy is. She's way too broken for her own good. There we go, Ellen! And then they die. Yeah. We're gonna be doing the same thing again. Chingy into Ellen. And then they die again. Yep. She's just way too good. She passed 
She gives off buffs for free. 20% damage bonus. Remember that. It's just way too good. She's she's way too good. She stuns enemies for free. She literally AoE crowd controls them for free. Yeah, it's just way too good. Of course, we're going to be picking ice damage bonus. That's a really good Rizonia to get. All right, let's go down here. Uh, B rank. Um, we'll do the concentrated medicine or B rank. Uh, we'll do concentrated medicine because healing is really, really good. All right. Oh, random floor. Of course, I'm going to be taking that. Oh, it's this random floor. Okay. All right. So you basically want to optimize your movement, basically. So we're going to be going like this. Too heavy. No this forces us to sustain one corruption, but we are able to uh, restore it anyway. Um, we're going to be going for this one. So now we go here. And there we go. We just collected everything. It's like nothing has ever happened. All right. That was a really, really good floor, actually. All right, uh, we're taking this because we can't get the fusion in. There we go. All right. Um, it's okay. So now it's either we go up and uh, defeat the ethereal, or we go down and get a Rizonia. Um, sure. We well, you know what? We'll just go for the Rizonia. Uh, Bang Boo attack triggering perfect assist. I will take that one. And we can get one more S rank Rizonia. It looks like. So let's just gain that. All right, another critical Rizonia. Pretty good. All right, this is the final floor. Now we're able to fight the queen herself. Okay, so let's just go onwards. I am going to be uh, saying no thanks um, just to get a bunch of uh, rewards. We don't really need that much anyway. So yeah. All right. Oh, now Ellen wants to do it. Okay. All right. Um, I'm probably not going to be uh, putting up the dialogue for this one. And that's because I already heard it so many times. So, yeah. Um, if it's for Chingy, though, specifically, I will do the dialogue thing. But it really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to be skipping this. All right. There we go. Um, Ellen, wake up. If we do do the first option, she won't be in battle. And besides, the, the last battle is literally the boss itself so if we do do that ellen will never come back so yeah i'm gonna be picking the uh healing and of course we're gonna be spending for gear coins oh boy look at all of this yeah okay so um shock percent healing we're gonna be taking healing or the freeze um we're gonna be taking critical Uh, we are losing HP though, which is pretty bad. Um, and that should be it. Even though we don't have the corruption, by the way. Yeah, we, we still get that effect, which is really bad. But luckily, we have these for a reason. So now we can use them. And that should be good enough. There we go. Alright, now we finish up this Hollow Zero with the final battle. And to see that Chingy will just pop off anyway. All right, um, we're gonna be continuing, and let's do it. Okay. All right, it's time to beat this boss in like around like thirty seconds. Uh, that's what that's what I would predict. Um, what would happen against this boss? All right, let's do it. All right, we do the normal, of course. Get as much stun as we can. Charge. We're doing the um, special. And then we do another charge. Yeah, this is her main bread and butter. You just go for EX special or special. Um, and then you do charge. And that should be enough. So now we go Sokaku. Get her three vortex stacks in. Do Ellen. Uh, Chingy into Sokaku. A 
Okay, we're gonna be canceling here to get her burst up e or to get her um her special immediately. And we're gonna be do it going for the Sharknami to finish her off. There we go. Yeah, we literally beat this thing in 30 seconds right there. I wasn't lying <laughs> when I said that. Yeah, so there is the uh, Hollow Zero run. Here's That's the Weathering Guardian run in a nutshell. As you see there, Chingyi performed exceptionally well. It's it's Chingyi, literally uh, the character of all time. Literally one of the best characters in the game. So yeah. Well, um, anyways, now it's time to jump to the bosses of this game and to show that Chingyi is just her. She's literally her. So let's just go to uh, the bosses and we're gonna be uh, showcasing her there. All right, so here we are at Notorious Hunt. So I am gonna be showcasing Chingyi against two bosses, specifically the Dead End Butcher and the Unknown Corruption Complex. And um, that's because Chingyi actually has two teams to work with and they are literally the best teams in the game. So I might as well showcase them against bosses, right? Which is what you're gonna be fighting most of the time. Anyway, in story mode, in Notorious Hunt, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna be uh, fighting the uh, the Dead End Butcher here with the uh, Ice Team. And that's because the Ice Team is the best team to fight the Dead End Butcher with in Notorious Hunt. And that's because you get an Ice Damage bonus as a Rizonia. Uh That's the only reason why um, you want to use the Ice Team against him. So yeah, um, this is gonna be the team we're gonna be rocking with. Um, one of the best teams in the game, Ellen Sokaku Chingi with Shark Boo. All right, let's just get this uh, boss started. Uh, this is probably going to be one of the quickest ones, really, and that's because Ellen and Sokaku and Chingi have like perfect synergy with each other, and because all the attack buffs just go to Ellen, and Ellen just takes advantage of that, like literally. All right. Of course, we're going to be getting our ice stacks. All right, we get the first defensive assist of the run. But uh, mainly you want to get your opponents as fast as you can to um, basically get uh, stunned. So whatever it means necessary to get them stunned. All right, we got our triple vortex stack. So now we go Ellen. Ellen Sokaku. And this should finish him off right here. I don't even need to use uh, EX Special right here. Yeah, because he would be finished by down. Alright, now it's Dead End Butcher time. Alright, of course we're going to be taking advantage of the EX Special too. Alright. Um, since Xingyi's dodge is pretty quick, you can't just chain those like that, like it's nothing. Alright, that should be triple vortex stack right there. So now we just do our typical chain attack. Okay, now we do like a bajillion damage against it. I don't even think we need, um, I don't think we even need, uh, the chain attack because this should finish them off right here. The shark Nami into the third normal. There we go. Alright. We are done with the first phase, and now he's gonna go to his second phase, which is probably gonna go on quick too, because of just how broken this team is. So, yeah. Alright. Here we go again! There we go. We got the perfect dodge in. We got a dodge in at two. Yeah. Um, as you see there, Chingyi is extremely good at getting stuns off, um, especially if you are using Perfect Dodge in conjunction with her other stuff in her kit, because it works extremely well. Alright, now we go Sokaku, and now we try to finish this off as fast as we can. Alright, Sokaku time! All right, now we go burst. That should be the the highest damage. Yep, and then we do one EX special into normal attack. And now we, re we uh, rinse and repeat the process of stunning again. All right. Oh, I did a bad dodge right there. Well, that's a good dodge that time. There we go. Oh, that was really bad again. 
That was also really bad. Oh, no. Okay, now we can switch. Holy crap. Alright, now we did the same chain attack again. I'm pretty sure Sokaku... Yeah, Sokaku has two vortex stacks. We can work with that. Okay, we're gonna go Sharknami. That should be the most damaging um, thing we can do in that phase. And I think this should be done. Right there. Yep. That, that's it. <laughs> There's the Dead End Butcher gone. So as you see there, Chingy um, works really, really well on a um, Ellen comp. And that's because she gets the stun really, really quickly. As you see there, look at that. Um, she gets decibels too. It's pretty easy to get decibels on her. Especially since you're going to be spamming her third normal a lot anyway. So yeah. Well, anyways, um, that is one of the bosses. So now it's time to move on to the next boss. Alright, so here we are at the Unknown Corruption Complex. Um, this boss is weak to Aether. Um, which means, you know what that means. We're going to be running one of her best teams again. Um, this is her other best team. Which is the Aether team with Shui Yun. And that's because she's also a PubSec officer. Which combos well with Ching Yi. Um, even though Ching Yi can sync with anyone as long as they are an attack character. And Shui Yun is an attack character. But it really doesn't matter anyway. Um, this is also one of Ching Yi's best teams. And also a pretty recent team too. Because Shui Yun just came out on version 1.0 as the second banner character. And Ching Yi is recent. And as for Nicole. Well Nicole is free. She's literally a free character that you get. So yeah. And of course, Rizona Boo. Because Rizona Boo. Well anyways, um, it's time to showcase uh, this team's power. It's time to showcase why um, Ching Yi is broken and fits literally on any team in the game. So yeah. Well, without any further ado, uh, let's see her in action. Alright. So, of course, this is the Unknown Corruption Complex. Um, so, it does have a... Uh, it does have a weird mechanic where it does... Um, it does get stunned if you do do its uh, like enough damage to its legs long enough. Of course, we're going to be taking advantage of the perfect dodge here. To get free stuns off. As you see there, her... Um, her perfect dodge is just way too good. I should finish him off right here. If not, then we can just do an EX. And then do another one. Alright, that didn't finish him off, but I'm pretty sure a normal attack can. So we can't just go for that. Might as well get her stacks in, right? Okay. Okay, that should be it right there. Okay, never mind. I guess it's not dead. Okay. Now we can go over uh, to this guy now, thankfully. And let's finish him off quickly. Just like the other bosses, he has two phases. Um, besides the twin marionettes, of course. They don't have two phases. Okay, let's do another charge. Free charge attack. We're going to be going into our normals again. By the way, um, the reason why I gave uh, Ching Yi Energy Recharge 2 is to get um, stacks extremely um, to get stacks extremely fast. And by that I mean um, getting her meter really fast. Because um, when you do EX Special with Ching Yi, you go immediately into your third uh, normal attack. Which is really, really ideal um, when you use her. So yeah. Alright, we're going to be charging up. Right there, that should give us a free, um, that should give us free charge right there. Okay. Alright, do the charge. Yeah, so I'm going to be using EX right here. And as you see there, it immediately goes into level 3. You saw for a split second, but it literally does. Same with, um, the dodge counter. It immediately goes to her level 3. So, um, basically you want to go out of your way to do level 3s. Or level, um, not level 3s, but, uh, level, uh, I guess, like, basic attack 3, uh, things. Because, uh, you basically will get a lot of stun. 
All right, one, two, one, two, three. We have to go for a double elemental um, special EX because we're forced to. Okay, now we repeat the process again. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing again EX and you see there she goes immediately into her third basic. Um, I don't know if I could because uh, I don't know if he is going to be normal attacking again, um, but I can showcase that. Um, and see there, when you do that, uh, she goes immediately into her, um, she goes immediately into her thing. Alright, I'm gonna be doing the, the cold Easter egg, where she sits on the suitcase. There we go. Um, by the way, if you want to perform that, you have to do a 360 when you hold, when you charge her, um, uh, EX special. Alright, this should finish him off right here. I should get the, yeah, the chain finish. There we go. So, yeah. Um, as you see there, um, she works well with Ether teams, especially with her partner Shui Yun. It's probably Shui Yun's best partner, Ching Yi. So yeah, um, there you guys go. So um, that is it for the boss showcases. Now it's time to uh, well close this video off with the overview and final thoughts on Ching Yi. So uh, let's just go over that. So here we have the automaton Ching Yi, aka the rookie officer of the criminal investigation special response team pubsec or public security even though she is literally decades years old she is a rookie officer um so uh anyways enough about the uh, lore of ching yi it's time to talk about uh her skills and uh give you the overview and my final thoughts on the character um of course uh i won't be talking about mindscape cinema um, and that is because for S rank agents, um, in particular, I always treat them as if they are at Mindscape Cinema Zero, um, just to, uh, well, simplify things. And as well as most of the time, people are not going to be getting Mindscape Cinema 6 or Mindscape Cinema 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And that is because, well, there are a lot of characters you want to pull for, or there are a lot of characters you want, etc, etc. So there's many reasons why um, people won't get um, Mindscape Cinemas. So uh, that is the reason why I always uh, keep S-Rank Agents to Mindscape Cinema Zero uh, when evaluating their kit. So um, anyways, um, with that disclaimer out of the way, it's time to talk about, well, her kit in general, her skills. So, um, first we're going to be talking about her core. And her core is probably one of the most broken things you will ever see in your life. And that is because, well, we're going to be uh, talking about her skill as if it is at uh, core level 7. So, when you do a basic attack, or basically when you land the finishing move of your fourth basic, aka your charge attack, you get 5 stacks of sub uh, adjudication. And also, you get it up to 20 times. You could stack up to 20 times. And each stack of subjudication increases your stun multiplier by 4%. Yeah, 4%. Up to 20 times. You know how broken that is? That is like one of the most broken things you will ever see. Ever. She literally can stun the enemy so fast. Like, literally, it only takes her, like, one or two seconds to stun the enemy. It's that, it's that good. Um, she rivals Lycon as, uh, one of the best stunners in the game. Um, people do say, though, that she is the best stunner in the game. And I do believe that. She literally is the best stunner in the game because of her core. Her core alone, her core alone is so broken that she can literally become the best stunner in the game as well as the best character in the game in general because... Well, um, we were going to be talking about that later um, because of her uh, basic attacks. But uh, we are diving in too uh, far ahead, so let's just focus on the core for now. So, um, basically, you get a 4% uh, stun damage multiplier up to 20 times as long as you have uh, subjudication stacks. Um, when you do a rush attack during your um, enchanted moonlit blossoms, you'll get an extra stack of uh, subjudication, which is pretty nice. When you do a perfect dodge, you get a literal 10 stack of ju of subjudication. So literally, when you do a perfect dodge, which is all the time because enemies love to attack, you get 10 stacks of it. That's literally half of your subjudication stacks. And also, um, when you a when you apply subjudication on a normal or elite enemy, um, 
you will receive double the stacks, which is really, really good. Again, she's literally going to get this um, 20 times subjudication stack literally all the time, thanks to her core passives giving her so much stacks. And um, of course, when the enemy uh, recovers from stun, your subjudication stacks are reset, which is fine um, because, well, again, their whole the whole point of stunning the enemy is to get them in the stun state. So yeah, um, this literally helps her uh, getting the enemy's daze meter to full, and they become literally the most broken thing you will ever see in your life. So yeah, and that's not all about her core passive, and that's not what makes her really good. Sure, her core is really really broken. But that's not what makes her the best character in the game. It's her additional ability. Her additional ability literally makes her one of the best characters in the game. Literally. And that's because her synergy. Her synergy is one of the best in the game too. Um, because she is a stunner. All you need is an attack character or a character that shares the same faction. For characters that share the same faction, that is... Pretty much um, only, uh, well, it only applies to basically three members of her squad. Well, technically two. Uh, because, uh, well, Shui Yan can be uh, synergized because she is both an attack and shares the same faction, which is PubSec. Uh, Seth, Seth is literally a DPS defense character. Uh, so you can use uh, Seth with Ching Yi. And he also is electric type, which also combos well with Ching Yi. And Jane Doe. Jane Doe is in the same faction as Ching Yi, and she is an anomaly character. So she also fits with her um, in teams. But the main kicker on the reason why uh, Ching Yi's uh, additional ability is really good is not because of her faction. It's because all she needs is an attack character on her team. This means that she literally... She can literally synergize with every attack character in the game, which makes her automatically really, really good. She could literally fit on any team um, because, well, in Shiyu defense and in Hollow Zero and in all hard content in general, you mainly want to run an attack character. And Ching Yi, uh, all she needs is an attack character to get her additional ability, which activates synergy. She is literally one of the best characters in the game because of her additional ability. And that's not all. We didn't even get to the passive. You literally deal 20% increased days. That is unconditional flat, flat boost. And she also gets maximum attack up to 600 if your impact is greater than 120, which is pretty free, by the way, um, as long as you, of course, give her an impact disc. Yeah, you can literally give her an impact disc and she will be greater than 120 impact. It's literally good. She is so good. She can literally become a DPS because of this, too. Um, yeah. Broken. Absolutely broken. But, it's time to go back to her additional ability uh, condition. Because I haven't talked about enough as to the reason why having an attack character is really broken on her. So, with an attack character, she literally becomes unageable. Yeah. I am going there. She is literally becoming unageable because... All she needs is an attack character to activate her additional ability. This means that you can run Ellen, Corin, literally any attack character in the game. Shui Yun, even though uh, she shares the same faction. Literally every single attack character. Freaking Anton. Freaking Anton can be ran with her. Yeah, you see what I mean there? Billy. You can use Billy. Yeah. You could literally run whatever attack character you want. And Ching Yi is going to pop off. Yeah, this core skill and additional ability, absolutely busted. Yeah, this is really, really, really broken. Um, that is the main reason why Ching Yi's broken. And, well, that's not the only broken thing in her kit, because her basic attack is also broken. Yep. So, there's not really that much to discuss about her normal attack, unless you're talking about her electric damage specifically. Because all of her kit relies on her third hit. Her third hit is her main bread and butter. Because once you get into her third hit of her normal attack, you can continually mash. Yeah, you can continually mash the attack button to do a bunch of electric damage and also build up the flash connect meter. 
Once the flash connect meter reaches 75%, aka when the bar is yellow instead of blue, you can literally do a charge attack, aka enchanted moonlight or moonlit blossoms, to do a big charge attack that does massive stun damage to the enemy. It is super, super, super broken. Also, when you're in the Moonlit Blossoms state, aka when you're in the charge attack state, because the charge attack does last for a while, you automatically perfect dodge. You automatically perfect dodge. Lycon doesn't even have that. Shingy does. You literally take no damage when you do this move. It is that busted. It is super, super, super broken. Also, um, you don't even have to do the charge attack because when you... Uh, repeatedly mash the attack button you can literally go into the fourth hit and it still does massive stun damage because again our passives our core passives it, it literally is just that it's so good so um basically what you mainly want to do with chingy is to get her third basic uh get enough meter to get flash connect once you get flash connect you do charge attack to moonlit blossoms and then do massive stun damage and hopefully the enemy gets uh dazed so yeah, that's literally how you play Chingy, and literally that's how she is one of the most broken characters in the game. Like, no joke. So yeah. Uh, as for dodge, it doesn't really th matter that much for dodge, again, until you realize what her dodge is, if you did read her core. Remember that her dodge is really fast and really powerful on stun damage? It also combos with her core skill because it literally gives her 10 stacks of subjudication for free as long as you do a dodge counter. Yeah, broken. Absolutely broken. And because she gets subjudication stacks, she gets increased stun uh, damage multiplier, which affects this. Busted. There's nothing to say. As for assist, she doesn't really use that much until you realize that her assist also inflicts stun. So you can literally just assist and then do a defensive assist into an assist follow-up. So literally all you have to do is put her in the back line, literally switch when the enemy is about to attack and deal massive stun damage. Yep, this is also another broken skill that Chingy can use, her defensive assist and the assist follow-up. Really, really, really busted. And again, remember, she gets stun damage multipliers because of subjudication stacks. Remember that. Every single thing in her kit um, for the uh, day's damage, of course, and stun damage, literally gets boosted because of subjudication stacks. Just remember that. Everything in her kit gets boosted. And speaking of that, uh, let's talk about her special attacks. So mainly, you are going to be using the EX special, the Moonlit uh, Begonia. Um, this is an extremely broken EX special. You want to know why? Right here. The sentence right here. After executing the move, you can immediately follow up with the third hit of a basic attack. Yeah, so you can literally do EX special into third hit, which allows you to uh, build up the flash connect meter to literally do an enchanted moonlit blossoms charge attack. Yep, you can literally immediately follow this up with a third normal attack. Busted, absolutely busted. Everything in her kit is just way too busted. So yeah, as for chain attack, her chain attack is probably the weakest out of the whole kit for her. And that is because you don't really use chain that much. Um, unless you are, of course, doing a triple chain, um, aka fighting a actual large boss um, with her. So yeah, of course, you're going to be doing a triple chain because you want the bang boo to be in the chain attack. But as for the ultimate... It's not really used that much unless you are using main DPS uh, Chingy. If that is the case, then yes, this ultimate is really good. Um, if not, then this ultimate is pretty useless because your attack agent is going to be doing it anyway. Remember, her core is literally activated. Her additional ability is literally activated as long as you have an attack character on the team. And that ca attack character wants to have their ultimate out anyway to do as much damage as they can. So if Chingy is paired with an attack agent, you're never going to see this ultimate. Yeah, I I'm sorry, but you'll never see it. Unless, of course, you're running like a double DPS comp. Or if Chingy is a main DPS. So yeah. And that is basically it for her kit. Now to go over my uh, final thoughts on the character. And, well, 
do I really need to say anything else about my final thoughts? She's literally the most broken character in the game. Yeah, I'm not joking. She is the best agent in the game. Literally the best agent in the game. She can crowd control for free. She can literally apply stun as fast uh, as, well, basically any agent in the game. Lycon can't even reach speeds of her caliber. And basically Lycon, uh, well, he has to do like three charge attacks or probably like six. Chingy, all she has to do is mash one attack, literally do a charge attack, and the enemy is probably stunned. Yeah, that it's just, it's just that broken. Kaleida, she needs Ben, of course. And and B, she needs an energy uh, regen build. For Chingy, she doesn't need that. She literally doesn't need that. All she needs is four piece shock star disco, just like any other stun character. And she is good to go. Yeah, she's just that broken. Literally, really, 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 really broken. Literally good in shield defense because of her AoE crowd control. She's literally good on hollow zero because of how much stun she's able to do. She's literally good in Inferno because of, again, um, how fast her stun is able to apply. Meaning that you're able to uh, get in a bunch of damage. You're basically uh, able to get your 25 million very, 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 very easily. So, yeah. Well, in general, Ching Yi is the best agent in the game. Hands down. There's probably never going to be another agent that'll probably top her. Unless we get, like, a power creep or something. So, yeah. Well, anyways... Um, that is it for the uh, Ching Yi Showcase. If you do like this Ching Yi Showcase, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel um, if you do want to support it. It really does mean a lot if you do support the channel. It helps me keep me motivated in making videos. And, well, without you guys supporting the channel, I wouldn't be here. So again, thank you guys for supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot to me. And as for the comments, uh, leave a comment down below. What do you think of Ching Yi? You think she's broken? You think she's not? You think I'm over exaggerating or you think my points are justified? Let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you do use Ching Yi, what teams do you use her on? And also, what kind of shenaniganery did you do with Ching Yi? Because Ching Yi is extremely flexible thanks to her additional ability. So, yeah. Uh, let me know. Uh, what you are cooking with Ching Yi. I might use those teams in the future and as well as test them out, of course. So, um, again, comment down below. Uh, I will engage with you guys. And as always, thank you guys for watching this Ching Yi showcase video, and I'll see you guys in the next gotcha video.